All right, today's video picked up the Central Pneumatic three gallon hot dog compressor from Harbor Freight for off-roading use, air down the tire and have an air tank when I go off-roading. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Uh, $54.99, 20% uh, off with the Harbor Freight coupon. You can get the coupons in Motor Trend, uh, Diesel Power Magazine, any automotive magazine. Harbor Freight coupons are everywhere. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn the camera off and uh, check this thing out right now. Okay, the break in procedure is to let this run for 30 minutes with no friction just let air go through it freely so I'm going to plug this in regulator is open so run it for 30 minutes right now PSI right there all broken in okay let's test this out this tire is at 20 PSI for off-road use since this air tank holds a hundred PSI I was expecting this to at least be able to give me 15 PSI on all four tires but it's only good enough to fill up one tire. It does it really fast, but it's only good enough for one tire. See, I'm at under 40 PSI right now. I use like 60 to put in 15. I don't know the math of air compressors, but that's kind of weird. So yeah, this, I don't recommend this. $50, $55. 20% off coupon and then the fittings cost another $20 just pick up a few of these these cost like $12 it takes forever to fill a tire but it's like $12 but I have this now at least it'll fill up one tire really fast but yeah not recommended for off-road use I thought it would be a like a nice little compressor to have with me because I thought it would fill up 15 PSI worth on four tires, you know, when you air down. But it's only good enough to fill up one tire. It does it really fast, but you don't want to roll with four of these. So roll with two, two of these. It'll take a while or just get a better... Comp okay, the problem with this air compressor is that the tank doesn't carry enough air for off-road use so if you could power it and refill the tank then it definitely would work great because it does fill up the tire really fast so I I uh, pulled up this watt converter amp converter so according to the compressor stats the sticker on the compressor it's 2.6 amps and 120 volts and that comes out to 312 watts so I have a power inverter that could power this supposedly if this is really just 312 then I have a inverter that could power that compressor so if I could power that compressor then it's good to go so 312 watts isn't much a lot of uh, power inverters are like 410 they go from like 100, then 200, then like 410, then 700. I have a 410 right now. So I'm going to attempt a 410 inverter to see if it could power this compressor. And if it could power it, then this is good for off-road because, you know, you could um, just refill the air tank. Okay, if you look at this label, 2.6 amps, 120 volts. 
so according to that conversion calculator this is 312 watts 312 running watts my power inverter is 410 running watts so let's see if it could power this <laughs> There you go, it could power it. So to make this work off-road, get yourself a 410 watt power, inver power inverter, about 400 watt power inverter, and then fill up your tire, fill up the tank again, fill up your other tire, and this works. But as it stands, the compressor is not big enough to uh, fill a tire up like if you don't have any power this is only good for one tire but if you have yourself a power plug then you could simply just keep refilling the tank to get your other tires in yeah 312 watts isn't so bad so this actually ends up working out so I was thinking like when it only filled up one tire I'm like wait how much how much power does this need to uh, refill the air tank so 300 watts you could make it work so I'll take back what I said as long as you have a power source to refill this tank then it's it's good for off-roading if you don't if this is all you're gonna bring with you then it's, it's not gonna work it's only gonna fill up one tire it's gonna fill up one tire really fast but only one tire all right everyone kick ass be safe and take it easy